you know how a lot of times your parents used to get real mad at you when you used to ask questions as a kid, right? And you never understood why they would get so frustrated with you when you're just asking a simple question. And a simple question could be like, um, well, why do I have to do this? And they'd be like, because I told you so, because I'm your parent. That's how you're supposed to, you know, you don't question me, you just do what I say. And as you got older, maybe you became a parent or you started just using your your own common sense or you you came across other children that you know asked you questions and then you said the same you came up with the same answer why because you really didn't have a answer to it you just you were taught don't question anything so you never questioned anything and you just did what you were told so your parent told you to do it and you followed after your parent then uh, you might have came up in Christianity in a church and you just walked on blind faith. So most of the things you didn't really have an answer to. You were just doing what you was told. So if somebody questioned you or challenged you on what you believe, which is not really a belief because you don't even know what you believe and why you believe it, you don't even have an answer to it. You would get mad and you get frustrated at the people who questioned your belief or challenged your belief system. So I see that now more than ever, and the reason why I'm bringing this up because I've seen it not only in my, I've seen it more. I'm dealing with me more more than anything. You know, it's not even about talking about other people. It's more about me, and I'm talking about more of my own journey and where I am now and why. Why I get frustrated with people. It is not it's not even that I get frustrated with people. I'm more frustrated if I if I'm honest with myself, I'm frustrated with me because I don't have no answer. I can't explain myself a lot of the times. So it's not it's not that the people are frustrating me. They're just showing me me. They're putting up a mirror, even though they don't realize it. They're putting up a mirror and showing me who I really don't even know I am. Showing me that I'm just, even though I might have left Christianity, I still have Christianity belief systems or actions. And it's not even Christianity because it's our parents, you know, our parents' parents. So, and that is a lot deeper than that, obviously, because we live in a system of not questioning. We live in a system of just doing what we are told. Obey your leaders. Obey your presidents. Never question authority. So at the end of the day, I just wanted to I just wanted to put this out there because um I've just been trying to be real with myself. And uh, I know I've said said this. I've said this on occasions to other people, but I never realized how real it is in my life and real it is for everybody else, a lot of other people. You know what I mean? And that's where the whole only God can judge me. You know what I mean? It's because we hate being challenged. We hate being uncomfortable. We hate have not not we hate not having answers to our lives to why we live the way we live, to why we're in relationships that we shouldn't be in, to why we're doing actions that we know we shouldn't be doing. So at the end of the day, um, don't be scared to challenge yourself. I know it's about pride, it's about ego, you know, um, family members, people that I don't know, they unfollow my page all the time. Not because I'm disrespectful, but because they don't want to see what I have to post or what I have to say or what I believe in or what I choose to question. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I understand that most people don't want to be questioned. Most people don't want to be challenged in their life. I do. I always want people to be in my life to challenge me, challenge my, my, uh, my actions, challenge my beliefs. You know what I mean? 
No matter how angry I might get or frustrated I might get, I'm going to get over it. But guess what? I'm going to be better at the end of the day. Because I know me. I know I'm going to look back and say, man, after I get down off my emotional emotionalism, <laughs> I always look back and say, damn, was I, was I really wrong? Was that... How, I always got to look at myself. What did I do? I always examine every action that I did. And if I truly... If it truly wasn't me, then I go back and say, I try to explain myself or communicate if that person really wants to, you know, go back and forth and really come to a conclusion or solution to that problem or whatever it was, you know what I mean? So, with that being said, uh, if you truly are looking to grow in your journey, if you're truly looking to grow in this thing called life, you can't be scared not only to be challenged, but challenge yourself. We don't know what we don't know. 